Removing silences from your video footage is usually time consuming and tedious, but it no longer needs to be. I'm gonna show you how to automatically remove silences from your videos using a tool that works in just two clicks. You'll be editing videos 10 times faster with less work, plus the tool we'll be using is completely online so you won't have to download any heavy duty software to use it. Let's get into it. Okay, so to get started, click the first link in the description below. This will take you to our Smart Cut feature, which is a new feature on Kapwing uh, in our studio, our online video editor. And basically, to get started, all you have to do is just click Get Started or Upload. So first, you just have to upload your video. This works best with videos that have silences in them. If you have background audio or music, it might be a little harder to for the AI to detect where the silences are. It's a talking head video that is another video on our channel, which I'm going to rough cut. So I'm gonna click Upload and open that video file. And it'll start loading in the timeline here. So quick orientation, this is like most video editors, you have a timeline down below where you have your video clip and you also have a canvas that shows you a preview of what the video will look like. Now, if you see down here, we have this video clip has a lot of silences where I am talking at some parts and I'm silent at other parts because I'm thinking while recording. So I want to get all of those silences out of the video so that it's a clean rough cut with just the main parts where I'm talking. And thanks to Smart Cut, we don't have to do that manually by splitting and clicking all the time. So to get the Smart Cut window open to automatically do it, you can just click the video that you uploaded on the canvas and then on the right side there will be a button that says Smart Cut. Now click that and you can see immediately that it highlights the areas where it detects silences. So these red parts of the video, it thinks those are silences. And now even though it detects these areas as the silent parts that it wants to remove, you ultimately still have full control over what it's removing. And if you go down to the bottom left corner, you'll see the silent sensitivity slider. That, if you slide it, to the right, it will be more sensitive to silence and detect more of the video as silent. As you can see, I'm moving it all the way to the right. A lot of the video is now highlighted in red versus if I go all the way to the left, almost none of the silence is detected. So you can use the slider to affect how much of the video it's detecting as silence. And you can go into specific parts of the video and deselect the silences or adjust what it's detecting. So I'm zooming into the video here using this plus button. You'll notice that there are these little sliders, these handles at the ends of the red parts. So for this section, it's not detected some of the silence right here. So I want to drag the end of the silence so it fully cuts out all of that part that I don't want in my video. Now you can also just completely deselect a silence. For example, if I wanted this whole red part to remain in the video and not be cut out, you can just click the area and it turns gray, meaning that it's part of the video and it won't be cut out. And you can use this play button to preview what the video looks like. Some of these areas will be kind of small. For example, this area, this little sliver of red, it doesn't have those handles as you can see on some of the other areas. You can still adjust it, you just need to zoom in more to the video. So if I continue zooming in, I think that part, here it is. It still doesn't have a handle. I'm gonna zoom in more and now it does have handles. So I can drag it to cover the full silent. So you can do this for the whole video. Make sure that it's cutting out the parts that you don't want and leaving in the parts that you do want. And then when you're ready to have the, all of those clips dropped into your timeline, so just click the done button in the bottom right corner. And as you can see, it drops all of these little clips into the timeline here. Some of these are pretty small sections as you can see, and it's probably cutting out more than I could do manually by hand anyways. Now that the clips are all here and the silences are removed, you can go in and further refine some of these parts. I would highly recommend watching your video footage back just to make sure that it cuts out the stuff that you wanted to cut out. You can continue to trim out different parts or split clips and delete sections in this timeline manually. I would highly recommend using these tools over here, the ripple and snap modes. If the ripple mode is on, which means it's purple, if you delete a section, it won't leave any of the gaps. So that makes sure there's no empty gaps left in your video. To trim down certain sections, you can click the clip and then use the handles on the ends of the clip to drag inwards to where you want it to start. There it goes. 
And then to split a clip, so for example, I think this is a silence right here that it didn't detect. I'm gonna drag the cursor to the section that I, the silence starts at, make sure the clip is selected, and then click the split key over here or click S on my keyboard. And it splits there. I'm gonna drag it to the end of the silence and select the clip again, and then click the split again. So now I've isolated this silence and I'm gonna delete it just by hitting the delete on my keyboard. So once you have your rough cut done, you've automatically deleted the silences, you like how the footage is looking, you have our full-fledged editor at your fingertips to continue editing and putting the final touches on your video so that you can go and publish it and it's an engaging for your audience. We have a ton of tools on the left hand side here like text layers that you can add and adjust uh, using the settings on the right side. You can add more video or image clips that are copyright free just by searching what you want and clicking to add to the video. We also have elements like GIFs and shapes, and you also have a whole library of copyright-free music and sound effects to choose from. Subtitles is also a big one in this top bar here. You can click to auto-generate the subtitles to your video, which makes your content more accessible to people on social media. If you want to also adjust the size of your video, if you click the background of the canvas, you'll have these output sizes on the right side here, which you can click around to adjust what size footage you want. Once you're happy with your video, click the export green button in the top, the download button over here to save it to your device. And you can also share the video with people just by copying the link to the video and sharing it with them. They'll be able to view the video, make a copy that they can edit of their own, and give you feedback on the video too. If you have any feedback or suggestions on Smart Cut, let us know in the comments below. Make sure to also subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with Kapwing features and new tips and tricks for editing videos, and also join our community on Discord to network with other creators and become a better editor yourself. This is Grace from Kapwing, and I'll see you in the next video.